Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Welcome to this episode of Water Horse, and we got a, some Alabama Jubilee, but we got a lot of catastrophe that we're going to go over. Yes, sir. A lot of shows coming up. But uh, before we do that, we'll let you do your thing. We'll be right back after these messages. Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat. And days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had since the last time you were here to old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. Instead of telling you about an affordable communication service that will save you money for a rainy day, I'm going to let one of my clients from Columbia Dental Group tell you all about Host My Services. You're not losing any service, your phone calls, you don't drop any calls, have any issues at all. They have the app where if you have an off-site person, they just have the app on their phone, they can use it from there. Like you should definitely get a quote because even buying a whole new phone system is cheaper than what you're going to pay for with Verizon or AT&T or anybody else through them. And the quality is great. Just the customer service. Customer service, I talk to him. There's two things to remember when checking out Host My Communication Services. Number one is free analysis of your current communication cost. Number two is there's no capital outlay for the equipment. Two great reasons to call 931-581-4411 today and start saving for that rainy day. People in Tennessee are starting a movement. Ouch. Thank you. To clean up the litter on our roadways. Litter hurts our environment and endangers wildlife. And it affects our quality of life. Here, cut me. Thank you. Help keep our state litter free. Let's roll. Visit NobodyTrashesTennessee.com and be part of the solution to end littering. Saving the best for last. That's right. Nobody trashes Tennessee. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3 and be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. everybody that Sam's Town has a block of rooms that is discounted. $39 a night for Thursday and Wednesday, Friday night $79, Saturday night $89, and the code for those rooms is 24 horse. They want you to do it online, but that doesn't quite work every time. But if you call the receptionist and give her that code, she'll give you those rates. Can't beat I said, that. You can't beat that deal with a stick. No, no. Also, I want to uh, to promote a couple of shows here. One of them is oh, Dave Roberts. Big Dave Roberts has got one going on over in Lewisburg, Tennessee this weekend. That's going to be Saturday. It's over at Troy Creek Ag Center, 3192 Yale Road, Lewisburg, Tennessee. They're going to start at 5 o'clock. That's a good location. Oh, yeah, there. it is. I've gone over there before, and, and they... Uh, that's, that's a real nice facility. 
real nice. Get a horse show in anyway. Oh yeah. Don't have to worry about it raining no. mm -hmm. <laughs> Also, we got October the 7th through the 12th is your uh, rack and horse celebration. This start time is 5 p.m. each night. You can call Marissa Dawson at 256-353-7225. Judges are Amber Zan, Bill Strickland, Ryan Parker, and Steve Gladwell. Then your Sheba World Championship is October 16th through the 19th. It's in Shelbyville also. Contact Sheba at 931-684-7496. Wednesday and through Friday, start time is 6. Saturday, start time will be 4. Judges Kevin Gillum, Leanne Tibbs, and Russ Kaiser. Boy, that's going to be a sight. Mm -hmm. Leanne, you watch Russ now. He, you got to keep him straight. And then we got the Celebration Fall Classic coming up at the end of the month, 31st through the 2nd. It's in Shelbyville also. Start time each night, 6 p.m., Contact Celebration, 931-684-5915. Judges will be Lee Boyd, Renee Carlton, and Brandon Gibbons. Them two women going to gang up oh, on yeah. that guy. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's mm -hmm. going to do it right <laughs> or they're going to have him. <laughs> that, I'll tell you what, those two good, Lee Boyd and Renee Carlton, they'll do a good job. Yeah, Brandon does a good job. Yeah, I know Brandon. Well, that, that's a gimme. Yeah. Brandon's a good guy. All right, now we're going to show some videos. Everybody is getting together. I know today there's trucks leaving out in the morning going up to East Tennessee where they, it's a total disaster up there. Uh, there was five bridges knocked out up in the Tri-Cities. Yes. In one town, it was something Creek. I can't remember the exact name. I talked to a friend up there this morning and he said it took the whole town out. But it, this is, uh, the North Carolina show has been canceled because of this. But it, it's, a, it's just a terrible thing that's happened. Uh, have you talked to anybody from up there? Yeah, they just say it is, is very bad. They have a lot of, you know, if anybody can help donate anything and, or whatever clothes, food or whatever, because some people can't get nothing. Well, at all. That's what they said. They said some places they're completely isolated. They're going to have to drop it. Yes. But right there is where you can send stuff. Now, there's trucks leaving here Friday oh, from Shelbyville that's going up there. But you go to 815 Middle Creek Road, Sevierville, Tennessee, Smoky Mountain Arena. Take whatever you can. Send whatever you, you can. can. That's right. You can get in touch with people over in Shelbyville. Any of the trainers over there will tell you horse feed, hay, or whatever, because they can't get nothing. They can't over get there. a thing. Yeah. I, I tell you what, that it's, it, it's bad when something like that happens. Yes. Especially when it's just out of the clear blue sky, because they're talking about trillions of dollars worth of damage. And there's there was this morning, there was 100 people still missing. Yes. Now, that number has gone down now, but there's a lot of the death tolls is just, uh, I don't know. It's just, this is a real life thing. You know, you see a lot of this stuff on TV and stuff like that, but this is very, you know. It strikes th close to home. home. Yeah, that's right. I've seen Alan Aby's wife's office was just about underwater. Yeah. So it's a bad thing. This weekend, we went to the Alabama Jubilee, and we're going to look at some inspection videos because they, uh, they had a heyday. They, I'm not sure how many the USDA got, but Jerry, I have my feelings about this. Other people have their feelings yes. about it. But one or two things. If we win our lawsuits, and I honestly believe I, we will because of the evidence that we have, then the government, these real cheap violations. I've seen them taking pictures of an ankle. I mean, that, that ain't close to the pastor. I, and one of them on the hawk. Uh, it's just unreal. Yes. And I know when they inspected Sir, they even looked in his mouth. And I, I just don't understand what... I just don't understand how 
people can ethically do what's being done during these inspections. And they had a new guy, or girl, or guy, whatever it was. He was there, or she was there, and uh, I guess they were training. But the things that, the way that they're getting violations is just, I, I don't know, Jerry, I, I, I don't know. I just don't know how to explain it. Yeah. You know, that's even right there checking right there. If you look and see, she have her hand on the back and front of that horse at the same time. I know. And up on top, right up on by the ankle. So you don't know if she's squeezing hard on top of the ankle or you squeezing behind, but she's getting some, you know what I'm talking about? I mean. Well, if you watch, she, she's not really palpating. She's poking. Yeah. And that was pointed out to her that she wasn't palpating correctly. And she laughed at the gentleman that told her that she wasn't doing it right. As though, hey, I know what I'm doing. But there's a lot of things she did that we observed that were not correct. And I mean, she inspects sir, and I'm glad she passed him. But in all honesty, I knew going up there there was nothing wrong with the horse. I knew that. I had him inspected before we took him. So I, I was waiting for her to say, well, he's got a scar here or this or that, whatever, because her and I would have had a couple of words. Because I, I, I'm one, I know my rights. Yes. I know what's right and I know what's wrong. It's just like this right here. If she has to hold that horse's leg up that long and palpate and then rest a minute and come back and palpate again, she has no business doing it. Simple as that. If you notice that when she took her hand away, that's when the horse moved. Yeah. But you see how that hand going behind there? She's uh -huh. checking the front and, and she's she, squeezing but behind. She's squeezed behind him. You at can the same see her time. doing it. Yeah. I mean, they think they're hiding stuff, but they're not. They're exposing everything they do that is illegal. Just like that, scratching, parting hairs and stuff. And, and evidently that girl doesn't know she's got a zoom on the camera. She's sticking the camera down there. I mean, it, 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 it just, I don't know. That right there was one of the inspections. We're gonna show some more, but the more I watch them on what they do and how they do it, the more upset I get because it is ridiculous. You do not need a flashlight to see a scar. You might need good eyes, but you do not need a flashlight. If there's a scar there, you're gonna see it. Well, if it's scarlet, Jerry, you're gonna feel it. I know it. it it's just, I mean. It's just some, if everything was the way that they say it is on their website, it'd be different. But we know that it's not. On their website, they got a video that shows their horses being inspected at less than two yeah. minutes. You go to a horse show, some horse shows you go to, they have them in time out over 10 minutes. They're not supposed to disrupt the flow of the show. Does that matter? No, not to them. Going to do it anyway. But now, to me, the flashlight is an overkill. But there ain't a thing in the world wrong with that horse right there. 
it, that's that's just my biggest and i keep saying it over and over but my biggest thing of it is when they check that horse's feet they got that hand all around that horse's foot and you don't supposed to have them one hand one finger at whatever spot you're at you're supposed to check a horse properly and they don't but see you, you i mean it's squeezing both front and back i know and that, that's you're giving mixed signals to a horse when you do that that's the problem, Jerry, but nobody holds them accountable. Just like I'm a firm, everybody needs to wear a camera. They need to record what's done. They need to record what's said. They need, we need it all, every bit of it. Now, the next video of inspection we're going to show is the one that they inspected my horse. I walked it through. I had on a camera and I had someone else recording it. When I do it, I want it done properly. Now I will say this, she inspected my horse. It wasn't that she didn't try to find something cause she, she sure did. Rubbing and mashing and scratching. She even checked his mouth. I've always tried to figure out what she's thinking when she walks up there because she That's does it all the time. Looking in his mouth right there. Yeah, she looks into the far blue yonder and rubs around, and then she goes, starts doing her do. It just, I'm gonna tell you, Jerry, just watching it. Yeah. Watching how long it takes her to inspect the horse. It just, I don't know. It's very upsetting to yeah. watch because when she started inspecting, Sir, five minutes and 19 seconds. Now that's how long she and look how long she's been on that foot right there. Yeah. And after a while, I mean, the horse gets tired of holding that foot there. But I know when uh, when we had the uh, veterinarian come and check the horse, first thing he said was, how in the heck can you get a horse's feet any cleaner than these yeah. are? Those were his exact words. I know she had loved to pop me, but she didn't. But to be honest, if I was in her shoes, I'd want her yeah. to get me too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what really got me. When you come out of the ring, first thing she did was have me take the wraps off. What's the other thing that they normally do? Check your chain. Check the chain. They've been pushing it down in the back to see what all. She never touched my chain. Never touched the action device. She shined, shined a flashlight on his feet and told me to go on. Well, on sometimes on that right there, some of some of them will let you on the on third and second place. If, if she pretty much knew she checked the horse when she was going in, that's why she did, and she can see the chain, and you know, and she just way beyond by. But now. I think on some of them, when she knew that she didn't check them going in, she was going to check them coming out. Well, she was doing that because she was flat getting them, and I'm, I'm talking about coming here, going there. She was, she was getting as many of them as she could. But it's still, it, it just, 
it's beyond me. They know they're going to court. They know they're ha going to have to prove there's something wrong with these horses. And I've seen some of the ones that they've rode up for scar rule. I've seen the feet. But you, but you know these things, they are animals and they are horses. And you can see that horse right there. You know, she ain't touching his feet, but he leaning forward, he pulling back. Because you know, some horses just ain't gonna stand there. They ain't. That long. I mean, he's pretty much looking for a treat, pretty much. <laughs> well, that's what I told that girl stand up there next to me. He kept nosing out towards me. I said, he's wanting a biscuit, but he ain't gonna get one. But it's just like I talked to a gentleman last night, and we talked about the condition of these horses. And, and he agreed with me, you, there is no other breed that has horses that are as well cared for as the Tennessee walking horse. And I'm talking about across the board, the way they're treated, the way they're conditioned, the way they're washed, the way they're cleaned, the way yeah. they're fed, I mean, the, the way they're babied, but they, they come up with all this stuff. And, and I'm gonna tell you, I just, I hope that some of them, when we go to court, I hope some of them have to pay the price for what they've done because it's illegal, period. We'll be right back after this short message from our sponsors. <laughs> Giles Dunn is a leader in both cultured and lab-grown diamonds. Located at 234 North Jackson Street in Tullahoma, Tennessee, Giles Dunn is well known for his beautifully designed jewelry. From that special diamond for your special wedding day to the one that says I love you more, Giles Dunn is the place to shop if you want to say it with diamonds. Open five days a week and always ready to assist you in that one in a lifetime purchase. To set an appointment for cultured or lab-grown diamond viewing, call 931-563-7800. Hey Tennessee, Ross Chastain here, the guy who likes to smash watermelons on the front stretch at Nashville Super Speedway. But you know what I never smash? Safety rules. Racing's all about control, and the same goes for life on the road. So use your melon and don't mix drinking and driving. It's like trying to race with a busted engine. Be a pit crew hero. And if you've had a few, pass the keys to a sober friend because we're all racing toward a safer Tennessee and we want you there at the finish line. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax-deductible donation as fast as a 501c3. And be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. All right. I guess now we can go watch videos. Right? Yes, sir. I want everybody to be sure to stay tuned too, because I, I know we're not going to have a North Carolina show, but uh, j just because it, of the people up there and the support that North Carolina gives to the walking horse industry, we are going to show victory passes from last year in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. and there's some good ones up there. But right now, let's go to the Alabama Jubilee. <laughs> Tell you what, this two-year-old Marion Gilding class was one, one of the better classes of the weekend. Cowgirl Casanova and Thomas Derrickson took the blue. Charlie in the Sky, Dick Peoples for Janet Easterling. Woman of Honor, Blaze Picard for Kenny Hopwood. Peppermint's Honor, Reggie Newsom, Clay Kenimer. And Paper Rose, Robbie Bradley. Charlie Albright. I tell you what, that Robbie Bradley's a good, good yeah, uh -huh. He is. He's a young gun. He's a good one. Dick Peoples is an old gun. Yeah. He's still pretty good. Yeah. And of course, Thomas Derrickson. He comes from a walking horse family. Oh yeah.
getting it done. Yep. Yeah. That's pretty good little class two year olds right there. It is. It's a nice class two year old. Yep. Yeah. I'm a Darrison doing a real good job right there. I'm gonna tell you, that young man is. Hey, he, he's getting there. He's buddy. getting there. He's coming on real well. <coughs> right here. Now I'm gonna tell you, my major ordeal in Debbie Eichler was reserve, but she put on a show. I have got a two-year-old. Well, it's a year. It's a filly that it turned two in June. That's going to be ready to start pretty soon by this guy right here out of a. Uh, that's a Ed nice Williams horse. Mare. That right there is a super good horse. And I'm going to tell you, people, flat out fact, most natural horse you'll ever see. Here's your two-year-old stallions. Perfect talk. And then Waddell took the blue for Chavney Beasley. Line of honor, Thomas Derrickson, Carolyn Rutner. Commonwealth attorney, Robbie Bradley for Cox and Smith. And honors prime, Gary Wayne Smith for Barry George. Some good horses out oh, there, yeah. Gary. That is some good ones. That's a super good it class. Is class. One thing about it, we're not may not be getting a ton of them in, but quality is in, in there. there. That's right. We got a lot of good two year olds oh, yeah. here. That's a nice little place to have a horse show in the arena. Here's your show pleasure class. It was a good, it was a Ryder Cup. I'm simply perfect in Winky Groover for Donna Baird. I'm Coach Cal, Mackenzie Lawrence. A strong statement, Robbie Bradley. Elway, Edgar Abernathy, and I'm out of line, Gary Wayne Smith. Gee, what you, these are some oh, nice yeah. horses. I'm gonna tell you the one I like. I like the one Robbie Bradley was on. Oh yeah. I really did. And that, the one Edgar was on? Yeah. Something right there. Now buddy, he was putting on a show. And I ain't knocking the, the ones yeah. that won either, but I it's just, when I was looking at them, I thought they were good. And the one Robbie's on, Bradley though on a different color horse. Oh yeah, man, he lit up. Yeah. There's some nice horses in there. There are. There were a bunch of nice horses in there. Edgar caught my eye because of that coat he had on. Mm-hmm. Getting it done. That's a pretty horse right yeah. to put on. Oh, Robbie, one thing you can say, he comes to the show now. Now he doesn't he doesn't take a back seat and no. he comes and brings them in. Yeah. He's normally up there in the ribbons too. He does a good job.
Right here is one. Every, I'm going to tell you, this horse right here, amateur five-year-old stallion, Cerveza. Uh -huh. And Tracy Askew for Rising Star Ranch. Debbie Eichler does a great job of showing this horse, but Tracy's one of her buddies, and she said, if you want to, go ahead. Yeah. But now that, that right there, is, horse, is a piece oh, of yeah. work, buddy. Consistent. Get it all done. And Tracy flat knows how to ride. Oh, yeah. Survey saw. Good job. Real good job. Here's your three year old Marion Gildens. A perfect picture, and Steve Beam for Sudie Reed took the blue. Miss Walking on Sunshine, Robbie Bradley for David Bullock. Angel Eyes, Gary Wayne Smith. Touched by Jose, Edgar Abernathy. A special kind of magic, Blaze Picard finished out the ribbons. Can't get away from Robbie Bradley. No, he's, he's in there. That's why I say he comes to the show now. Yeah. When he shows up, he's going to un unload yeah. them anyway. Nice horse's necklace. Hey, there he is. I mean, it is. They, they had a good show. They the, did. The quality of horses that showed was good. Here's your rack and trail pleasure. Wouldn't be right if we didn't get one of them in there. Oh, yeah. Jose's morning at the Ritz and Michaela Latham took the blue. I'm a dreamer. Cheyenne Millwood. Dangerous Charlie. Becky Centered. And Heaven and Dixie, Diane Hasty. Evan and Dixie. Like it, I'm a dreamer. Yeah. Like that name. It's a neat little class right here. It is. <coughs> Excuse me. And my sinuses are going round and round. Right here's the youth Lebanon under championship. This was a good one. The Megalodon and Wilder Wave yep. took the blue. The Highline, Turner Parker was reserved. But this was tough little class, two young men. Oh yeah. Get in there and get her done. You know, this thing I like about this the breed of horse. You know, you take them little kids that's riding them horses around there, and them horses is pretty much going around that ring by themselves. You know, oh, they, yeah. they just kind of going around. All they doing is guiding them. That's it. These, these horses are amazing. They are amazing. Right here is one show pleasure. This was, this was my favorite. Yeah. I showed him in the inspection, now he's there. This is Sir Olivia Ball. Now 
this is another one that's natural. Yep. You know, people say a lot, but these deals, you just work them, they're about the most natural we've got, and the mares are unbelievable brood mares. They produce. I'm gonna tell you, that's someone that can walk off his butt. Oh, yeah, he can. He gets it done, that's what yeah. you're supposed to do. Right here's your youth championship. We didn't qualify for that. <laughs> Pride of Oopsie Doo took the blue for Benley Boyce. Good time bracket, BKT. That's Boston Kate Tillman. Mm -hmm. With Boston Kate Tillman in the saddle. Southern Attitude, Levi Parker, and I'm Hooked, Frank Clark finished out the ribbons. You know, I talked to a couple of youngsters that was over there watching them palpate. Yeah. And even them kids, they sat there talking to each other and they say, well, she's not doing that right. Yeah. That ain't the way they said they showed to do that. And that, that's a shame when kids can pick out what you're doing what wrong. What you're doing wrong, that's right. And we've got too many horse kids that are honestly horse kids. Yeah. They watch it, they study it, they live it. And that's it. If you're right. I'm going to beat you to it again. <laughs> I'll let you do it. Go ahead. We'll be right back after these messages. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old, whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3 and be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. More of What a Horse coming up. All right. Now we are going to go to North Carolina. And I'm doing this simply because we're not going to have a North Carolina show this year. And that's, that's a sad thing. But I want to remind everybody that they're sending a ton of items up there. Get with Julie Graham. Some, some of the yeah. trainers in Shell will talk to them. You don't have to be a horse person to help somebody. So just get together, load up some stuff, water, pork and beans, who yeah. cares? Send it to the Smoky Mountain Arena, 815 Middle Creek Road, Sevierville, Tennessee, 37872. You get with the trainers over in Shelbyville, call the trainer's office, Call, I would imagine you could probably call the celebration. Yes. Uh, I know they could contact you. There's a lot of people over there that you could contact and uh, and, and be of help. Because oh, yeah. They need it. They, they need it they, very This bit. is the time where anything and everything is, it will help. Yep. So let's go to North Carolina and watch some horses. 
I'm gonna tell you, they had a, a heck of a show there. Oh yeah. There's a King Thane and Bob Badcock. He was reserved in the amateur 50 and over division. You very seldom see him out of the money. No, that's right. Just a good horse, buddy. Worth a whole lot more than a bag of shavings, yeah, anyway. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> And here's the paddock master and Kenny Smith, your amateur owned and trained specialty winner. I just, I like old Kenny. Oh yeah. yeah. He is, he is, he is a piece of work. The paddock master and Kenny Smith. Well, he's a good trainer too. Oh yeah, he is. You hear Bob Adcock's voice in the background? Uh-huh. I tell you, can't take his pride in embracing them horses' tail. He wanted to be perfect oh, yeah. every time he put it on there. We got this video from Bob Roach. Two-year-old stallion winner spotlight on Jose. He proved exactly what we said, that he was going to yeah. get better. And he did. Oh, that horse has a good horse now. Yeah, he is. Real good horse. I liked him for the World Grand Championship mm -hmm. myself. I really did. Man, a good horse. And me and Pocahontas, Allison Armstrong and Tyler Balkum, this was your pro am. Mm-hmm. I still don't think that horse has been beaten at last. I do not believe. <laughs> Honored in Texas. Bob Adcock. Yep. Amateur five year old stallion winner. That's another high headed horse right there oh now. Oh, Lord, yeah. Bob got a bunch of them. He got real good horses. He got good headsets, every one. Yeah. Callaway and them do a good job with the horses that he is. They do, they do a real good job. Here's Smokin' and Tyler Balkum for Allison Armstrong. I'm gonna tell you, to me, and this is my opinion, if it could be a mare that can win the roses and win the state class, it can be her right there. Yep, she's a good one. She is. I'm gonna tell you what, Debbie Eichler's got one. That Scarbelly. Mm -hmm. That ain't her show name, but hey, that, that American walk boy. Yeah. And here's Twisted with Honors. Tyler Balkum for Allison Armstrong. Oh, that's another good one. Bob in the background. Yeah. That's another real good one. That horse has been a good horse oh, for yeah. a while, too. Right here, Harley Quinn. Yeah. Beth Collins. Beth is a veteran married to a veteran. Can't get no yeah, better. That's right.
Here he is. Oh, yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah. I don't believe that horse didn't beat at that show with them two, with that team right there. I don't either. They didn't he, want a bunch. He wasn't going to get beat this year either because yeah. they wasn't going to take him up there. <laughs> but I tell you what, he won it three years in a row. Yeah. Three years in a row he won it. We, he and I talked about that, and he said, yeah, but he said, I want to win the celebration. Well, yeah. Eli, you did. Mm -hmm. Did just that, buddy. Brought home the roses. Yeah. Nice horse. That's a good kid, too. Oh, it is. Yeah, he is. He's a, he's a good one. He got a good family. Yeah, well, he, he does. does. Yeah. And here he is when he won the championship. It's the medalist. Yep, his family's good. <clears throat> I don't know about his granddaddy too much though. You know, his granddaddy. No, nah, uh, Mr. Wilson, do. he's a he'll do. A, he's a good guy. I I like messing with him now. I like He's one of a kind. I think he's got you buffalo because you want to keep that medalist cap right there in front that, of you. That's right. That's right. I'm wondering if he ain't paying you on the side. <laughs> he was one of the first people I met when I first moved up here. Is that right? Yes, sir. He had a horse called the Onion. Onion? Yeah. <laughs> I think they gave him a bath and something. He lost all his hair off his whole body and his, name, his nickname is the Onion. They named him the onion. He lost his hair. Yeah, all over his body. Oh, here's quite an honor in Maxine Beasley for Beth Beasley. 12 to 17. I'll be glad when them girls can get back in the South. Oh, yeah. I talked to them in, in Alabama this weekend a couple of times, and they're anxious, I can tell you oh, that. Oh, yeah. Greg don't know what to do. <laughs> Twisted with honors and Allison Armstrong, your amateur ladies winner. Yep. Mm-hmm. Here's final answer, Ali Joe Jacobs, part pleasure youth winner. Like it, it good. Final answer. Oh yeah. I tell you, that was a fun show to go to. Yep. A lot of stuff to do well, after you get to working the horses. I went up there a few years back. That's the first time I ever yeah. ate gator tail. Oh, that's good. I wasn't going to have nothing to do with it until I took a bite. Uh-huh. But it had me then. <laughs> he has a good thing. Amateur four-year-old Marion Gildon, I sing Dixie and Jake Jacobs. Didn't take him long to lose that one. No, uh-uh. She took that horse away from him quick. Oh, Jake's, Jake's a good Oh, daddy. he's a good guy. Yeah, he, he, he's 100% daddy. Yeah. fathers that go above and beyond yeah. to be a father and to be a good father. And Jake, oh, yeah. Jake is one of them now. He's 100% for his daughter. Here's cousin Bob and Jimbo Connor, which he no longer owns oh, this horse. Yeah. Shane Porterfield is a proud owner of cousin Bob. Jimbo is a real good guy. Oh, yeah. 
I mean, he's super, super good guy. guy. Yeah. I believe that's his location where they're Those taking all the stuff. goods yeah. to. Here he is, the kingpin, Bob Badcock, 15 to and under reserve winner. Bob's a super good guy, and I, he just does not realize how much I appreciate the support yeah. he shows this show. Because he does, he's always oh, yeah. born willing to do his victory passes in his reserves. Right there, Switchblade and Allie Joe Jacobs, you pony winner. Trainers, 36, no more bills getting old. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was 36 one time, believe it or not. <laughs> I haven't made that yet. Uh, I haven't made bull, 36. Bull. <laughs> yeah. He's a lucky strike and Aubrey Derrickson for Ralph Derrickson, your U12 to 17 championship winner. That's fine, young lady. Oh, yes. That's a nice horse, too. Getting it done. That's a fact. But I like that whole Oh, yeah, me too. You know, think about it. A person don't realize how, how, how high a horse stepping. That rail there is a pretty good high rail I that know. you stand by. And you see that horse knees coming up over that rail. That's it. Some horses, the angle you look at, you don't think they're stepping that high, but yeah. you get on the right angle, you can see how high. I, that's right. And here's final answer, and Jake Jacobs, Park Pleasure Amateur Championship winner. I ain't believing that. He talked to his daughter out of that hole. <laughs> <laughs> she probably said, hey, hey, Dad, said, try winning you one yeah. on this. After all, she did sing. Oh, sing, yeah. I sang Dixie away from me. <laughs> right there's Mr. True Blue and R.M. Kelly for the Jacobs family. And we're going to see Allie Joe on him next oh, year. Oh, yeah. Plus, he just carried the, the football into the arena over at MTSU Farm. with a nine-year-old little girl yeah. riding him in there with a the football. That's how amazing our horse is. Oh, yeah. Can't ask for nothing.
to no, better you, than that. You're exactly right. If we've got time, I want to flash up that billboard one more time on where to send supplies to up in East Tennessee for the people in North Carolina, because that's a that's a good good thing to support. It is. And you can contact any of the trainers in Shelbyville. Let them know. Let them see what what's happening. Just. It makes, I mean, clothes, uh, I mean, toothpaste, yeah, water, drinks, canned goods, you name it, and they need it. Send it to the Smoky Mountain Arena, 815 Middle Creek Road, Servirable, Tennessee. You know, Jerry, that got to be a harbor feeling. One day you have everything, and then you look and up, and the next gone. day it's gone. I mean, that's just how the world, that's how everything that, works. Well, that's the way you it know. was, because I... They had a young man on there this morning, he, and he just turned, he said, it's all gone. Yeah. He said, everything's gone. And you it, just sit there and just watch it coming towards you. Ain't yeah. nothing you can do about it. Mm -mm. He said he had one suitcase. Yeah. I, I mean, that's, I, I, that, that would be devastating. They, that's right. I, I really don't know how I would handle it, it, it you know, and, and I've handled some bad situations. But to, when I was 10, well, I was, actually 12, our house burnt. I can remember that. And it, it, that was bad then, but yes. to lose everything and it's gone, I mean, you look up and it's not there. It ain't there. It's not it's that uh, one gentleman said it ain't that it's gone, said they can't find it, said yeah. it is totally gone. It's not as though you can see the rubble of yeah. where it once was, said you can't even see that. Yeah, so you're, uh, you're right. It, it's a bad, it's it's a bad situation. Uh, just everybody that can pitch in and help. Yes. Uh, anything. It makes no difference what it is. The trainers in Shelbyville, any of them, and I'm sure I, when I say that, I mean any of them will help you. Just contact one of them and say, hey, what can I do? Here's this. Here's that. Just get it done. They can punch you in the right direction. That's it. There's, yeah. Flat Shot Show this weekend, but we'll be back next week and uh, looking forward to seeing everybody. Yes. Till then, have a good weekend. Yeah, I'll be safe. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, uh, please start talking. Thank you.